you got some more pretty bizarre news in the baseball world, Mario. So let's get to it, okay? So Cleveland Indians pitcher Zach Plesak broke his thumb. He is being added to the injury list because of a non-displaced fracture on his right thumb. And a baseball didn't hit it. No, Mario. He didn't break it by playing video games. No, 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 no. You know how he broke his thumb? He did it by ripping his shirt off. He ripped his shirt off, Mario, rather aggressively. It was described as rather aggressively ripping off his shirt. And what ended up happening is his, uh, his thumb ended up catching the chair on his locker room. So I'm, I'm assuming that's how his um, thumb got thumb got injured. It probably hit the chair and boom, there you go. Um, this happened after he gave up five runs uh, in three and two-third inning against the Minnesota Twins. Um, and I have a quote from Terry Francona. He said, and I quote, he called athletic trainer James Quinlan and James called me. It was pretty swollen yesterday. As you can imagine, our wheels started to turn. Um and yeah, Mario, over this season, he is four and three through 10 starts, and he has a 4.14 uh, ERA and a 1.02 whip. So he's not doing too, too bad, but again, he could be a little bit better. Before I pass it on to you, Mario, I just want to say this article was written by June Lee from ESPN. So you go first, Mario. When you think of Zach Pulisak injuring him in one of the most bizarre ways possible? Well, first of all, I wish Zach Pulisak the best of luck in his speed recovery, no matter how it happened. But let's get to how it happened anyway, Nate. Uh, yeah, he ripped his shirt and he caught it on a chair and he ended up fracturing his right thumb. Uh, again, uh, so basically he started sun, uh, Sunday against the Minnesota Twins. He let go of five runs and three and two thirds of an inning. So obviously it wasn't the best performance from Zach Lisak. And that probably was a big reason to the reason why he was angry and he ripped his shirt and all that stuff happened. Um, so basically what happened, Nate, um, swelling, it did not decrease Monday. And he underwent x-rays, which they ended up revealing that there was a fracture in his thumb. Uh, you read the quote by Terry Francona, so. Correct. Yeah, so I don't got to read that again. He will meet with specialist Dr. Thomas Graham Wednesday to discuss more about the prognosis. And, um, yeah, it is a very unfortunate injury. So, look. I, um, anger and competition, Nate, when you combine those, sometimes it's not a great idea, you know, and this is a perfect example of it. Again, competition wise, he's competitive as he should be. Didn't have the best, didn't have the best outing. He got mad, ripped his shirt, caught it on a chair. How, for some reason, I don't know how that happens, but I wasn't there. And he ended up fracturing his thumb. So look to athletes out there again, I know you're very competitive and everything like that, but you got to control your anger too. Okay, you cannot let your anger get the best of you because sometimes it makes you do stuff that, again, you shouldn't do. Again, you can be the nicest person in the world, but if you get angry over something and you end up doing something you regret doing, you can't take back that action, you know? So that's what I, that's the lesson I would give to people out there. Not just athletes, just people in general, because competition is everywhere, not just in sports. There's singing competitions, there's dancing competitions, there's chess, there's um, like, there's, uh, what do you call it? There's academic decathlons. You know what I'm saying? There's competition everywhere, Nate. So to people who are competitive, don't let your anger get the best of you. It's as simple as that. You got to control that anger and you got to control your competitive competitiveness. Keep them separate. But yeah, again, Zach please Zach. He ended up getting mad, ripped his shirt, ended up catching his thumb in the chair and he fractured. And it really is unfortunate. Um but yeah, Nate, regardless of that, again, I wish Zach Police Act the best of luck. There really isn't a lot for me to discuss here, but I do wish him the best of luck and a speedy recovery, regardless how the injury happened, because you don't want to see people hurt. And going to the Indians, Nate, it's going to be really tough for them as well, because um, again, the rotation, it's in that article, Nate, if you can like give it to me, but I know obviously they have Shane Bieber and they have uh, um, they have uh, They have a rookie named Zam. Hentage and uh, Aaron Savelli. So, and then Shane okay. Bieber, obviously, of course. Right. So, um, if I'm if I'm the Cleveland Indians, I'm doing a four pitcher rotation. I'm getting to Shane Bieber quicker. And I know what you're gonna people are gonna say that puts him at risk and his health at risk. I understand that, but the thing is, five pitching rotation. The two pitchers at the end. If you bring them up from the major leagues, these guys who are in the minors, they played like a couple relief appearances. Do you trust them enough to go pitch a starting to pitch a starting five innings for you? I'm getting to I'm getting to Shane Bieber as quick as I possibly can, you know. And again, every it's again it's not just Shane Bieber. Every pitcher is going to pitch a lot more often, you know. But at the end of the day, what you really can do if you are the Cleveland Indians to to make sure that that your players are still healthy, you have four pitchers in your rotation. You probably have them pitch four or five innings at most. 
and then you bring it on to the relievers. What I do is I'm take, I'm going to the minor league and I'm bringing up relievers. I'm bringing up more. I'm bringing up probably two or three relievers. I'm doing that and maybe one starter. That's what I'm doing right there. So for the games that you have starting pitchers pitching as uh, shorter in it, shorter innings in shorter time, the relievers can come in and you have enough relievers to end up pitching a full to pitch like the rest of the game, and you have enough relievers to keep the whole team healthy. That's personally what I would do. You can go five pitch in rotation. That's cool too. But again, it's all about those two major league starting pitchers. Do you trust them to go five, six innings and hold their own against some of the best, you know, and that's the question right there. But if I'm the Indians, I'm doing a four pitcher rotation. I'm having these four starting pitchers pitch a shorter time than what they usually do. Bring up a couple of relievers and have those relievers end up finishing the game. So not only does it get to guys like Shane Bieber quicker and the other guys, but it also keeps the team healthy because you have more relievers that are coming in to finish the game. That's personally what I would do. Again, you might disagree. That's fine. But regardless of that, uh, going back to Zach, please, Zach, I wish him the best of luck and a speedy recovery. And yeah, just let this be a lesson to you. When it comes to anger and competitiveness, keep them separate. Cause sometimes when you combine them, it's not a good combination. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, best of luck to Zach, please Zach, moving forward. You know, it's just a very bizarre injury. You know, we've talked about a couple of them. Uh, we talked about a pitcher punching, punching his um, punching himself onto the um onto the bench. He ended up breaking his hand from that. Uh, we talked about um, a pitcher breaking his thumbs by playing video games of all damn things. Um, and we talked about uh, Frank Rag now hurting his throat in football, which is very, very uncommon. You don't really see that a lot in um, football. There's just some, been some very, very bizarre injuries, Mario. So, again, like Mario said, you know, uh, uh, anger and um, competition usually don't make a good, you know, usually don't blend in well. So, uh, you know, if you're going to get angry, don't hurt yourself doing it in the process, I guess. You know, emotions are a natural thing, but just don't hurt yourself in the process doing it. But, um, yeah, so going back to the Indians, I don't completely agree. And the reason why, one thing that's holding me from completely agreeing, you got to think about scheduling. Because we talk, to, we talk about that a lot, you know. You know, like the most days you'll get off in an MLB week is like two. You know what I mean? So it, it it depends on the schedule. So which if that's the case, like if you have like a game off, then yeah, go for it. But if you're playing like four games in a row, then I say go for five. You know, <laughs> excuse me, look for someone in um, you know, pull a raise or look for someone in the bullpen to start. I mean, I know that was very strange, but it worked for them. I mean, maybe it could work for the, uh, the Indians as well, or even go into the uh, free agent market, try and find a starter, something like that at least. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure they'll figure it out. But the only reason that's keeping me from not completely agreeing is the scheduling. You got to think about that. But again, if there is a day where you have, if there is that time where you have that four pitch rotation and you have like that day off in between, then go for it. I said, I then I, that's when I say go for it. But it all, it, again, it depends on your schedule. But other than that, though, I, I would get to Shane Bieber a lot quicker. You know, he is their ace and he is one of the main contributors to the team, you know, Indian are doing a really good job right now so far, which is a surprise. And I didn't really think the Indians were going to be a good team this year. I really didn't, but um, they're, they're holding their own in the AL central. I think that I believe they're second to the white Sox. I believe, let me look, let me look at that up real quick. They are in second place. Yeah. So they're doing a good job. They're holding their own. Um, so I do wish him the best of luck with that. Same thing with Zach Polisak. I do wish him the best of luck moving forward. Um, and we'll see what happens, Mario. Uh, 